Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. Got the Envo crew bringing us together this morning. We gonna drop this down to 20. And the reason why we dropping it down to 20, because I done did a preview to be able to listen, to see that this ain't too loud. It ain't blowing your eardrums out. You can't come. I can't hear you. Can you speak up a little bit louder, Sonny? I need to be able to hear you without my hearing aid. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we done took care of that. Now, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, I am so excited. You know why I'm excited? Do y'all know why I'm excited? Y'all don't know? Well, y'all should know. I'm putting it right up here in front of y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done a video better than this one, and the whole time I've been doing videos. If you would only know the information I provided you in that video, if all of y'all would just pay attention, you see, I'm not hiding stuff from you guys anymore. I'm sharing it with you. No hands, no holds, barred. Oh, they're going to bar you in a moment. You just wait and see. Now, this is Torch Games. I don't play games, y'all. I done told these fools I'm a grown man. I don't play no games. But we pulled this up because I needed a window. And so Torch pulled up this window. We're going to do, pay attention, T-H-E, one fourth, A-M-E-N-D-M-E-N-T. Gotta show y'all this because y'all needs to know. Now y'all thought the last video was something? <laughs> Where did y'all see this one? Because it's time that we get on a roll, y'all. Rolling down the river. Okay, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Tina and Ike to this, the late Ike Turner. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Tina and Ike to this. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. The 14th Amendment, now, we got the 14th Amendment. You see how we just made it larger? Okay, Let's shape it up. We're going to go down to section number four because we don't care about those other sections. Okay, pay attention, y'all, because this is what y'all need to know because y'all ain't been knowing that. It's been about this ever since they created this piece of junk. Pay attention. The validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law code the March 9, 1933 Act, including debts incurred for payment of pensions, bounties for services, and suppression of insurrection and rebellion, shall not be questioned. Isn't the March 9, 1933 Act the Suppression of Rebellion Act? It's called the Trading with the Enemies Act, ain't it? It says, shall not be questioned. You guys cannot question the validity of any debt, but we've already told you this. Well, how do you, wait, hold on. But all such debts, obligations, and claims shall be held illegal and void. When? Why can it be held? It says, but neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in the aid of insurrection and rebellion against the United States. Well, give y'all a little something so that y'all know where we're headed. When Congress enacted the act of March 9, 1933, they did it against the interests of the United States because they violated the Constitution prohibition on delegation of powers, separation of powers clause. You see, they weren't allowed to delegate their power and or authority to any other branch of government, which is exactly what they did. Okay, but ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna be talking about no bad luck right now. We're gonna let Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes featuring Teddy, Pendergrass. How can it be featuring Teddy Pendergrass when it's called Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes? Ain't it featuring Harold Melvin? Uh, I don't know. Well, you should get that straight before you start featuring things on your channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Let me give y'all an understanding. Watch this. We're going to type in something so y'all can get it because, like I said, remember the validity of any debt of the United States can not be questioned. See, the validity of the public debt, the United States government owns everything in the United States, so it's public debt. You can't question that debt. 
Well, what are you talking about dispute? The Fair Debt Collection Practices Act said we get to dispute the debt. Only after you do this. Only if you do this. Tender payment. Oh, look at that. UCC 3, section 604 and 603. Ladies and gentlemen, what is a tender of payment? Does anybody know? Anybody? Bueller? 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 Anyway, if tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, the effect of the tender governed by the principal laws applicable to tender of payment under the simple contract. Ladies and gentlemen, what is a tender of payment? Does anybody know? The our sell money order. Hold on. Hold on. Let's show you. Bad luck. That's what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, we got 9,000, well, a little bit over 8,700 mo, and we will have a million of you people watching these videos in less than a year. Okay? So thank you. Now, let's do this. Yay! Anyway, we're going to go to a video manager. You have somebody to manage your videos? Shouldn't they manage you? I mean, if your videos are being managed, you sound like you should be managed in an institution. Your mama. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. We, we don't want those videos. Uh-uh. Nope, we don't want none of these videos right here because these are not the important ones. Okay, we don't want this one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. You don't want that one. Entitled re-upload tender and payment with the use of the hostile money order. That's the video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same video. These two are the same videos, but see, they blocked this one in the United States. So you guys in the United States, y'all can't watch this video, but you can watch the edited re-upload one. That one's free. Y'all can watch that one all day long. And tendering payment video blocked. See, don't need to watch that one. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the law says you just have to tender payment. You're not challenging the validity of the debt. You're accepting the validity of the debt. You're tendering payment. Now, if they want to challenge your tender, then now you bring the March 9th, 1933 Act. That's what this Senate document is all about, ladies and gentlemen, where we put this Senate document and we tell you the sections to highlight. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you got a debt? You got a debt? Go back and watch that video. Create your money order and get rid of your debt. Oh, you the one who's got me inspired. Keep on re lifting me higher. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't feeling very good this morning. Uh-oh. What happened to my somebody? It stopped. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay. Wasn't feeling very good. But after I did that first video this morning, I'm like, do you realize what you just told these people? And now I'm telling you how to get rid of your debts? Somebody wants to go to court? Oh, no, I tender payment. Well, that, that, that was just a piece of paper, Your Honor. Excuse me? That was a piece of paper. No, that was a tender of payment. Now, if you can show me the original contract plus the comprehensive annual financial reports, hey, then if there's a remaining balance, you haven't told me about it. And if you haven't applied all credits to the account, that means that you reported a false debt and you did it intentionally because I asked you to give me a comprehensive accounting, not a statement. I want a complete and full comprehensive accounting of every transaction associated with my account. Okay, other than that, this account was created by fraud because I never gave you permission to withhold that information from me. You guys listening to me? You see, what's happening is that they are acting as if they got the right not to show you the finances. So let me understand so you understand. Ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Pendergrass 
it, it ain't playing all the way, so I'm going to skip the next song, okay? Anyway, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, is that these companies, these wonderful companies that are sitting up here claiming you owe a debt, they don't realize that you have a right to see the accounting. You have a right to see every penny that's gone into the account. And you have a right to be notified of all the credits that's been associated with the account, such as when they write your account off and receive tax write-offs. When they receive tax credits, okay, and ladies and gentlemen, the SACOM sitcom, $3.9 million in tax write-offs. You got a company that you got a lot of debt and you don't want to be paying all them taxes? I'm going to tell you something. This is 100% legal. People can do it. You just buy debt, people. Now, in order to get the write-off on the debt, you have to make an attempt to collect the debt. Just that simple. That's what the law requires. And then you get to write it off. And there you go. No more huge tax liabilities. Those of you who the IRS say, oh, $10,000, $20,000, $100,000, that's your way out. Go back and listen to what I just said. I'm not going to repeat it. This video is not going to be that long. I'm not going to be explaining everything because there's no need for me to explain everything. Getting back to those of you whom they're claiming you owe a debt, you have a right to receive a full accounting of all transactions associated with your account. That is not proprietary information. They don't get to hold on to that. And that's what you have to explain to the court. And I demand to see that information. And if they cannot provide that information, if they cannot prove that this debt actually exists, and that is what a full complete comprehensive accounting, then I've already paid. And there is my proof that I've been paid. Well, Donna, that was just a piece of paper. Well, we need to see the account to see whether or not they got paid. So we need to see a comprehensive accounting to see whether or not that payment was applied to the account, or even if they tried, pay attention, to negotiate the instrument. If they didn't try to negotiate the instrument, if the account doesn't reflect that the instrument was attempted negotiated, then that means that they did receive payment. They just chose not to do the accounting. They chose not to deposit the payment. Because remember, we labeled it government obligation. We did that for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all I'm gonna do is tell you, listen to this video again, and then listen to it again so that you get what's being said, because I can't go and explain it. That's been the problem. I've been explaining things over and over and over again throughout the whole video, and that's been wasting time. Instead of you going back and listening to the words that were said so that you can gain an understanding and move on. So there you go. That information is for you. Have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good night. Good.